What's up everybody? Uh, I'm out here working on the single cab. I got radio out, the cluster out, part of the dash taken apart. Right now I'm trying to run a positive to this switch right here. That way I can turn my radio on like that instead of having it on the key. Um, so I'm gonna get that wired up. And what else, what else? I guess just get my radio to turn on and then I got these two amps. Two stars, thousand watt. One's brand new, one's used. But those are for my door panels. Got my battery on the charger. So I got a puppy. Draco, what you doing buddy? You work on the truck? Huh? Yeah. Yep, fly back over here, huh? Yep, climb over. Oh, oh, you're stuck, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. First thing, get this wired up, get my radio to turn on, and then I can wire the amps up. Alright, so I got both amps mounted up behind the seats. Both amps. Now all I gotta do is wire a remote wire for my radio, a power wire for the amps, and two grounds. And then all I gotta do is run the speaker wires, and that's it. Get my wire back. Get my wire. All right, so I went to Walmart. It's got your average amp kit. Now I got some remote wire. So, I'm going to take the blue and white wire and run that all the way to my amps. And that's to tell your amp when to turn on. And then I got some RCAs in here. I got another set of RCAs, 14 foot. And then I got 100 foot of 14 gauge. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and run these. All right, update. Um... I got a power wire, I got an RC on this side, actually I'll just show you this, I got two RCAs coming out of the back, everything wired up for the radio, and if you come back here, we have every single plastic, I don't know how good you can see that, ripped out, laying everywhere, another piece back there making progress all right so so far i got my power wire it's split off here to go to that amp and that amp um i already talked about the rcas everything's done for the radio harness things wired up nice and secure um i just put this fuse in i'm not even sure what size it is but we're gonna see what happens um, what else do I got done? I found more stuff for my old setup for the RCAs. Um, so yeah, I guess I'm gonna run. I'm running the remote wire, the blue one, to that amp along with the power wire and turn everything on and make sure the amp will kick on. Because if it doesn't, then we got a problem. So, oh, and I run grounds. That too. Alright, so I got my positive side hooked up for my amp and I got my negative side hooked up for the body so if I flip the switch on a radio should come on yep and there's a blue light on the amp over there that should come on if I put it to like oh here, there, yeah. here you go so if I put it like CD it tells it to turn on so now all I gotta do is hook up a you can't even see back there but hook up a ground and run the the um, remote wire to this amp and then once that's done I clean everything else up and then start running wires to the doors for the speakers all right so I pretty much got everything wired up got my power my remote wire and my ground my ground is ran to right here I sanded it down 
and I actually put two self tappers through the connector there was only a hole for one but I just made my own for the second just to be extra sure and then it's split right here and this one goes to this amp with my remote and ground also and sorry. and I ran my ground underneath of my carpet all the way down to here and you can see right there where I connected it to the seat and I got my RCA's on that side my RCA's on this side so I guess we test and see if this amp will turn on so I'm gonna flip the switch on my radio kicks on yep all right now I'm gonna hit source okay that one came on and this one's not on 11.16 I got one amp completely wired up um, wires ran pretty much ran through the rubber and I had a couple of them playing only like three of them but if I flip the switch on which I'll do right now go to Bluetooth okay. the blue light will come on and I come to my phone turn my Bluetooth on Turn that off. <laughs> Anyways, that's it for the night. Um, I guess after work tomorrow, I'm gonna try to finish everything else, and then hopefully head gaskets come in. And if my head gaskets come in, then I should have my heads tomorrow from the machine shop, and then hopefully my head gaskets come in. Because if they do, then I can also put the motor back together. But I have a mess. For some reason this amp wouldn't turn on so i think it's a bad ground but i'll figure it out i just wanted to get one side done motor still stripped down bone head gaskets so that's it for the night all right guys so it's the next night um i got some more stuff done last night and tonight uh cluster's back in harness is tied it up with the with the um radio holder we got this amp wired up and it's done that one's done rca but for some reason i can't get the driver's side amp it to turn on it just keeps on going into um protect so I'm just gonna finish up everything else and then leave that to my last thing to do. So yeah, so next to put everything else in. Like the dash, the radio back in, the bottom panel, and then I could I already have all the wires ran to the door for my door panel. That one's already on there. So All right, the dash is put back together, so now I'm gonna fix the carpet, probably fix all those wires over there. There's stuff on the ground that has nothing to do with this, so it's not that bad. Um, these kind of were just extra wires and stuff. Not, has nothing to do with it. Nothing to do with it. I got everything zip tied and ran. Everything is zip tied and ran through the grommets and everything, so. I guess next I'm gonna just clean some of this stuff up and then I'm gonna try to figure out why this amp will turn on. It's kind of confusing. My ground, I've done, I've, I've redone my ground twice. So like, here's my ground right now. I sanded it down, put a copper fitting on it and screwed it to the ground. And I have no idea. So I'll figure it out. All right, so I figured it out. This is this has been the most aggravating situation I've ever been in, and you will never believe what it was. All I did was touch the blue light when it it just flashed protection really fast, and nothing would come on. And this whole time I haven't tried to test the speaker, 
so I've just thought it's been in protective mode. I just barely touched the blue light and it came on. I've been spending hours, hours trying to, I did two different grounds. I just tested all my power wires. I've been using a meter on everything. Come to find out it was just the light. All I did was literally just barely touched it and the light came on. So well, that makes it really easy. So that means that all I gotta do is just, um, I disconnected that power wire thinking that I was taking all the power to that one and not enough to this one. But connect that and then just tidy up all the wires and I gotta put this door panel together and that's still inside. I got that one on, like I said, but it's not completely on. So, great. I'm so glad that this is over. All right, current situation we got pretty much all the plastic put back in. If you can even see, there you go. Down there by the foot, all the wires are hidden. So now all I gotta do is take all of these wires, split the ends, hook them up to my speakers, and after that I will, I guess, test the door. And then I have to cut the door on that side to make that door or that door panel fit. Because the speakers stick in a little bit. But this side's cut, so I can get this side complete. And then all I have to worry about is cutting that door and tucking everything away. But everything else is done. It's just a little bit messy still. All my tools and stuff. Dog's still sleeping. Draco. Draco. What you doing? Dad asleep. But getting very close. Alright guys, so it's Saturday morning. Like 10 o'clock. But the last thing you saw was um, this door panel was not on. And now it's complete. It's completely done. It's just missing that little thing. And that side is the door's cut and the door panel's on there for good. But what I'm gonna do is um, the way that these speakers are, this is the bottom and where you hook the speaker wire to is down here and it's kind of like cutting it close to like the inside of the door panel what it's built so i'm gonna flip them upside down that way the connections are up top and they're free like i'm not bending the wire and put all the face plates back on them which are down there and then um oh another thing is if you can see like here let me get over here they're not on there because from here down there's no more clips there's only clips from like one two three four five something like that so there's none on the bottom so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go to home depot and they sell like this little flat metal sort of like this let's say just this side skinny like that with a bunch of holes in it and you can screw it to something and screw it to another thing and sort of make a bracket out of it so this one too you can see they're not like all the way on there so i'm gonna get those tied down and then flip the speakers and this should be done i'll just detail the inside of the truck and that should be it but i mean the next video you'll see this it's coming back together pretty good but yeah so i need to get some bracket whatever you call it stuff and Tighten that down, flip the speakers, clean the truck, and that's probably about it for the inside. And then the rest is the motor. So Home Depot, here I come. All right, guys, so it's Monday after work. Um, I just got home and I was at the last, or where I left off was I was gonna go to Home Depot and I did go and the bracket that I needed was, they had it in like a way bigger version. So I'm gonna have to look into that. But for now, I'm just gonna leave them how they are because I might have to take them off again. Also, um, or yeah, I might have to take them off again, but it doesn't really bother me. So but everything's done, but um, yeah, I'm just gonna wait to uh, tie them down in case I have to take them off again, cause I might have to. But um, I think I'm gonna end this video off here. You'll see in the next video, uh, the truck is running. So, which you probably know, 
but I'm going to be driving it to the dyno in about 20 minutes and then it'll be gone for the rest of the week. So hopefully I can get a video of it on the dyno maybe, but who knows? Maybe not. Might be able to. But yeah, I'm ending here. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you in the next video.